Well, it's one of those issues that can make or break a relationship money. And yes, it seems like it's common sense that couples need to talk about their finances, but so many don't find it easy, at least to start the conversation anyway. Justin Halverson is here to talk about why discussing finances is so important and to give us some tips on how to do it. Uh, money, we know that money needs to be talked about. Uh, and so you have some ways that we can get into this. And I think one of the things that you talk about is just creating a plan that works for both of you guys, right? Absolutely. Um, you know, getting on the same page with something as important as money is something that too few couples do, I think. And unfortunately, according to research, it's one of the number one causes of divorce. And so our goal today is to help people get on the same page financially. Well, I know you have some tips and some questions to ask each other, but the one thing that I wanted to say before we get into that is you say once you understand the reasoning behind each other's money decisions, you and your partner can discuss any issues you might have. I think that's fantastic because I think understanding your relationship to money and understanding your partner's relationship to money is huge on, on how you'll work together. It is, and it you know, comes down to um, you know what our parents did and yeah. what we learned in our families about money kind of really shapes who we are and how we make decisions going forward. So that is, that's very important. All right, let's talk about some of these questions. So uh, do you openly talk about finances? This is one of the questions you need to ask yourself. It really is. And I think in a relationship, we need to be open and honest about everything. Anything hidden, any secrets is going to lead to a bad result. And the same with money. And so when you think about hidden bank accounts, uh, credit cards that you don't tell your spouse about, debt that you brought into the relationship that right. you weren't open and honest about, just get it out in the open so you can deal with it and move on in the right direction. All right, uh, do you share the same or similar financial goals? Some people are spenders, some people are savers. That's usually who ends up together, Isn't that I funny? think. funny, opposites attract, <laughs> right? right? Um, we see this so often in our offices. Couples come in and they you know, have such different goals and views about right. money and you get the saver and the spender and one wants to travel and see the world and remodel the kitchen and the other one doesn't want to spend any money. Yeah. So the key is finding that happy middle ground where you can you know, kind of both accomplish your goals and be happy. All right, do you both take responsibility for shared expenses? That's a big one, especially if you're a younger couple coming into your relationship. Um, you know, finding a way to get on the same page. Maybe one spouse makes more, one spouse makes less, but realizing you're all one team, let's just get on the same page and work a plan together so we can both feel like we're contributing uh, towards our goals for the future. And you kind of uh, mentioned this a little bit, but what money lessons did you learn as a child? Yeah, I mean, I think either we emulate our parents or we try to be opposite of right. them, right? And unfortunately, if you don't know that about your spouse, he or she may be in a situation where they are either being exactly like their parents were or they're just being exactly the opposite because their parents were too restricting or maybe their parents were very irresponsible. So if we can understand that about their history, we can understand who they are today and really help us together make better decisions moving forward. Real quickly, why do you need to discuss your credit score? Well, credit, I guess, really comes down to debt. Yep. And it's a big challenge with money is getting into debt, bringing debt into the relationship. Your credit score is a reflection of how you manage your debt. Mm -hmm. Do you have too much of it? Do you pay your bills on time? There was a survey, Rena, that said 42% of Americans said that going into relationships, if they knew their spouse, or their partner's credit score, they may or may not go into that relationship. <laughs> now you know why people lie. Exactly. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Justin, thank you so much. so much. We appreciate it. <laughs> we have Justin's questions for you so you can get them yourself. Uh, you can review them with your partner. Simply text the word 4PM, no space.